Hi there everyone, uh, Peter of England here, um, addressing one or two questions that have already been posed to us concerning this um, notification or courtesy notice that Freeman Legal Services will issue you with um, to present to the judge under the operation Judge's Dread. Um, this notification or courtesy notice will come from the International uh, Common Law Court of Record 750181 um, and on it will be a series of statements that are irrefutable and in the public domain as well as in the uh, shall we say the global international legal uh, domain um, and so it's something that the judge can't deny. Uh, he might be able to uh, bluff and uh, evade, but he can't deny the factuality of these statements. Um, the document that you will then present to him uh, in the court will have his name attached on it. Uh, it will have a seal of the court of record and it will be notification to him that as he has uh, been involved in um, conspiracy and the aiding of, and abetting of certain international crimes, some of which I'm going to mention to you now, which will be mentioned on, these, uh, uh, on the notification and the courtesy notice, that as he has been named as a party to these crimes, um, legal proceedings are being instigated against him to bring him to trial. Therefore, as accusations have been uh, made against him, his uh, standing in the court, his veracity and his ability to perform these public offices is being brought into question. Therefore, it's only right that he step aside. If he proceeds in his arrogance and his uh, belligerence, to insist these, are, these uh, accusations are of no uh, account, then that's for him and the International Common Law Court of Record to uh, decide at a later date. But for now, it puts him firmly on point, it puts him fairly square on the pitcher's mound, and he's the person that's now on the plate um, having to uh, defend his position. So it reverses the role between the prey and the predator in court, should we say. And these are just some of the things we're going to be uh, addressing to him. So, the um, notification to him and the courtesy notice will basically state that as he is aiding and abetting and uh, actively assisting in maintaining the status quo of an unlawful government that has been involved in a series of international crimes and whose members have been accused of serious crimes, then he's as guilty as those individuals as a, a joint party in a joint enterprise. It will be the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948, the complete series of articles, violation of the all. Geneva Convention 3, relative to the treatment of prisoners of war, the 1949 extracts, and the Geneva Protocol 1977 extracts. The next point will mention Protocol 1, additional to the Geneva Convention of 1977, that's Section 3, the treatment of persons in the power of a party to a conflict. The next substantial piece of legislation that he will be accused of violating is the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatments or Punishments. These are the 1984 extracts. The next part, particularly within there, is Article 4. Each state party shall ensure that all acts of torture are offences under its criminal law, which they certainly are. The same shall apply to an attempt to commit torture or to an act by any person which constitutes complicity or participation. Complicity means if he's involved in it at any level, then he's involved in it as if he's attaching the car battery terminals to the individual in uh, Abu Ghraib or Guantanamo um, prison camps. The next part that we would be looking at is that Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court 1998 extracts 
uh, Article 5 particularly, crimes within the jurisdiction of the court, which is also um, proceeding under common law jurisdiction, are uh, Article 5 1A, crime of genocide. Article 1B, crimes against humanity. Article 5 1C, war crimes. Article 5 1D, crimes of aggression. So these are all fairly, as you can see, serious allegations that are being firmly leveled at the door of the, the judge in question and he is therefore um, to make a decision at that point whether he wishes just to toss these uh, uh, allegations aside or whether he wants to proceed uh, and continue against you and um, other people in, in similar situations who are trying to bring some truth and justice into uh, the uh, insanity uh, of this world. So that's, uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Don't forget to press subscribe and pass these on to your friends. Thank you.